All right, so I'm about to show you um, a great way to build out your abandoned car email flow in Klaviyo. So first we're gonna go to flows here. And if you're not familiar with flows in Klaviyo, they have a bunch of flow templates. So I'm just gonna click on create flow. You can see there's a ton of flow templates in here that you know are super helpful for brands depending on what you're selling and what you're doing but we want the abandoned cart and there's even a few versions of abandoned cart uh, I'm gonna go with standard right now just to build it out in front of you here so we'll create the flow and if you're not familiar with the abandoned cart flow the uh, the way this works is a person on your site triggers uh, set sets a trigger that puts them into this flow and this particular one is checkout started which means they started checking out on your site but then didn't complete the order. And you can see that by this flow filter. So it says placed order zero times since starting this flow. So they started the checkout but they haven't placed an order so they're in this flow. And this flow filter will actually be checked before each email. This is an email in this flow, there's two of them. Uh, so they'll check the flow filter if the person has placed an order before this email then they'll be removed from the flow and they won't receive the email that's gonna help us out as we build this out so first thing I like to do is the first email this is a time delay by default it's four hours I like to do this one in one hour you can set it to whatever you like uh, the time delays that I'm gonna do here are kinda just for examples really you can just test what works for your customers and your brand uh, if you see that one of your emails, the open rate drops off really fast, uh, you might want to change the time delay that you're using, make it a little longer or maybe a little less. But I usually go one hour on the first one because this first email, I'm just going to change the headings here to keep them straight for us. This first email is really just a reminder. This is like to ping these people that might have got distracted during the checkout process and get them to come back. So. Maybe they got distracted by something, they'll get this email and they'll say, oh yeah, I was checking out, I'm going to finish that and, and you'll pick up some sales from that. Next one, usually you wait about a day and you send this one and this one is usually um, you lean a little more into urgency and scarcity here. So you might want to say your cart's about to expire, that's the default subject line. You could say um, we are, it's a limited limited uh, supply or the products flying off the shelf or it's really popular basically you want to push that urgency and scarcity button on this email now we're gonna add a few more emails here so we're gonna time delay again I can either drag this time delay over here like that or I can just clone one here and for the time delay it doesn't really matter you can do the same thing for emails I'll clone the next email but we just say, I'm just going to say one day on this one. And again, you can set these to what works for you. Uh, but now we want a new email. So I'm going to clone this email. And it's kind of good to clone the emails, in the, especially in the abandoned cart flow, because these emails, uh, also something I'm not showing you in this, is that you have to edit each of these emails. So you can customize these to fit your brand and your messaging. Um, and in these emails, there's dynamic uh, templates that are um, that will show them the products they were looking at. So cloning these emails is helpful in the abandoned cart series. I'm not going to show you how to build out the emails right now. I'm just going to show you the abandoned cart flow. So we've done the urgency and scarcity. We've waited a day. Good one to do here. Usually, what I do is send them a coupon code. And Clavio is awesome for coupon codes because it lets you create unique dynamic coupon codes for each person that enters this flow and then you put that coupon tag in the email and Clavio will send only that person their their coupon code and we're going to use it again later on in this flow and it'll send them the same coupon code again when you use their coupon tag um, but usually I send a coupon here this could be a save uh, you know 30 percent whatever works for you and then I usually make this one expire in 10 days so when you create that code make sure it expires in 10 days but you can change the time if whatever works for you but uh, I'll just put coupon code here 
So then I'll clone this. We wait another day and I'll clone this. So we've uh, done some urgency. We've sent them a discount. So if price was the factor, uh, hopefully this email converts them. Then we wait another day and we're gonna start um, handling some other objections. So if they abandon this cart, it's for some reason. And it, if it's, um, you know, they forgot, we handle them here. If it's, they thought they had time, we handle them here. If it's the price, we handle them here. I like to handle some other ones. Some popular ones are shipping and returns. So send them a uh, uh, put policy. Send them an email that covers your shipping and your, your returns here. Like, you know, we use UPS. All orders leave our warehouse same day. Our return policy is 30 days. You know, whatever it might be to kind of handle their objections there and get them to finish the sale. Then we'll clone this time delay and add another one. One more day, I'll clone this email again. And then we're gonna keep handling some objectives and a popular one here is social proof. So I like to send them some social proof. So in this email, there'd be a really good customer testimonial. You know, send them something that says, hey, this person bought, this person's like you, here's what they thought about it. You know, here's what some of our happy customers are saying. So, you know, we're just really crushing the objections here. And we'll wait another day. And whatever, you know, you might know what your customer objections are. Maybe they're some of these. These usually work for most people. But maybe you know specific ones for your products. Hit those in this flow. We'll wait another day here. I'll clone this email. And drag this down here. And another good thing to send here is, oh, now, so we sent some social proof on this one. We'll wait five days. Um, and then we'll send another email here that says your coupon is expiring in three days. Uh, coupon reminder. So we sent them this coupon up here that, that expires in 10 days. We'll wait a couple days here and then we'll say, hey, uh, wait, didn't I do five days? This should be five days. Save. So we've gone seven days now and we're gonna say, hey, your coupon's gonna expire in three days. So this is just a friendly reminder, right? This might close people. Then we're gonna clone this time delay and we're gonna wait <clears throat> two days do the same thing. Send them another friendly reminder. Clone this email. And say, your coupon expires in 24 hours. Now hopefully, this flow will get them to complete their purchase. But if it doesn't at this point, um, it's a pretty good chance they're not gonna place that order anytime soon. So what I like to do on the end here is wait 30 days here and then we'll clone this one and we go back into the Clavio coupon section create a brand new coupon because this coupon has expired by this point and we'll create a brand new special offer whatever it might be for you for them right maybe it's you know buy one get one a bigger discount, something like that. But we basically wait a month. If this person hasn't made a purchase yet, we hit them with some, you know, kind of too good to say no to offer to try to change, you know, get them to convert into a customer. And you could do 30 days, you could do 60 days, 90 days if you wanted, whatever it is. But the idea is they've gone through this flow and now you're going to try to close them with a really great offer. So this is kind of a basic abandoned cart flow that you can throw together for almost any brand that works really great. I'm going to show you a couple extra things here you can do depending on your brand. So Clavio makes this super intuitive. Um, so we send the coupon code, right? Uh, da, da, da. So let's say we send this reminder, we sent the urgency, we wait a day, and I'm going to 
we're going to do a conditional split here. So I'm just going to drag this over. And you can see we can split the flow now on conditions. And Clavio gives you a bunch of options. So what someone's done or not done. And you can see all these metrics, bounced email, clicked email, opened email, received email, subscribed, active on site, added to cart. Uh, viewed product, canceled order, fulfilled order, placed order, refund, you know, whatever it is. These are a bunch of options. And properties about someone, GDPR stuff, uh, location, is in a list or not, a couple other options. So there's a ton of options that you can split these flow on. I'm just going to show you a few right now. So I'm going to show you someone's proximity to a location. So this works really great if you've got a physical store, physical location. So Someone is within 10 miles of your zip code, we're in the US, click save. And if they're within 10 miles, now I'm just gonna flip the split here because I want these to be on the other side. And I'll just flip everything over. So if they're within 10 miles, you could send them an email that says, you know, something specific, uh, you know, maybe it's, free local pickup, right? Who knows? But you can start to uh, keep track of, you know, or, you know, filter out people that are local. That could be pretty helpful. Uh, another thing you can do here is update profile property. So you could drag that in if they are local. You can start to add properties to these people's profile. So you could create a new one that says this person's local. You know, and keep track and start to segment your list on based on people that are local. You could invite them to events or whatever it is, or give them special in in store discounts. And then you could either build out this flow more, or if you don't want to do that, I'm just going to connect it up here. And now you can see if they're local, they'll get these. If they're not, it'll just go through the regular flow. Super useful. Uh, that is location we'll do something else here so that was a conditional split on you know the user's actions uh, we'll do a trigger split now based on this trigger so drop that in here now we sent them 30 percent off one thing you can do is come over here and again with the trigger split you've got all sorts of different uh, things about the uh, trigger event so you drop down this dimension and you can see you've got what flow they're in, your collections, these are like your categories of products, discount codes they're using, items, uh, total discounts, you know, all super useful. What we're going to use right now is value. So this is the value of their shopping cart. If it is greater than, let's say, 100, 100. So now one thing that you can do is if they've got, you know, they've abandoned a cart that's over $100, maybe you can send them this 30% off. If it's under $100, maybe you can't afford to send a 30% off coupon code. So we'll just clone this, drag it over here, and in this one, we'll send them 20% off, right? So they've got a, you know, under $100 cart. Greater than 100, yes, it'll go right here, right? So otherwise, they'll get this 20% off. Super helpful, especially if you can't afford to give a discount to you know a low-priced shopping cart. And then we'll just click this, drag it over here, same thing. Now we've got you know our split-up flow. One more I'm going to show you, which we just saw up there, which you might be able to add to the top. Um, is by the product. So if you wanted to, you could even build out your abandoned carts based on what products in the cart. So we'll go to dimensions again and we'll go items and we'll go uh, sheets here and we'll click save. So the item contains this sheet set. I'm going to flip this because I want that to be on the other side. So if it contains this product, I can just drag an email in here and you could send them an email that's really specific product specific you know why that product is awesome why they should have it you know anything of specific about that product and then you could even keep this idea going put another trigger over here 
and say items contains comforter click save so now if it doesn't contain that it contains this I'm gonna also flip this you can do the same thing right clone this send them a real specific email about the product and, and then put them back through you could either build the flows out or put them back through the original flow so you can see how this can start to get uh, more complicated based on your products and your brand and what offers you can do and also something I didn't mention is SMS we didn't even add SMS in here but SMS is is proven to be really great for brands right now um, and you could just drop some simple ones in there like when we send the coupon code you could send a text message like here's your coupon code you could also on the coupon uh, expiring ones you could send a text message like hey just a reminder your coupons gonna expire tomorrow text messages are getting great returns for brands and then on top of that let's say this starts running and you can add a variation right here so you could test out your subject line it looks like you left something behind or you could add a variation right here this will create another email and you could change either the subject or the content of the email to do a split test on just this email and uh, make your abandoned cart super uh, complex but also super powerful all right um, if you like that video do me a favor and hit the little like icon it really helps me out and if you want more videos on email marketing go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna be putting out some some new content thanks for watching